So in this uh, video we will talk about the Unibright token and the token model and uh, how this plays together with um, our baseline as a service offerings. So um, as true as it is that there is no token directly connected to the baseline protocol because it is just a protocol, just a pattern, uh, of course there are tokens involved when it comes to paying um, blockchain transactions, for example, gas costs in Ethereum, or um, transaction costs in other um, distributed ledger technologies that may be part of a business process. And the idea of the Unibright token is, um, one idea is to that it serves as a voucher to initially use the services, not only from Unibright, but also from Provide. And the other idea is to abstract from um, the underlying transaction costs so that uh, a customer of the Unibright and Provide stack has only um, to take care about an initial upload of the of the transactions um, with UBT and related costs like gas costs are then uh, covered by uh, Unibright and Provide and the, the Unibright token as a programmable um, ERC20 token is just a perfect way to, to serve that and to, to automate it. Um, so the, the main model looks that the, uh, looks like that the customer initially needs uh, UBT to fill up his transactions that he will use in a baseline environment and from there uh, is able to renew these transaction, uh, transactions monthly by fiat payments and uh, to make it easier for enterprise clients that do not want to deal with crypto at all, that do not want to deal with key management or, or uh, custodian services, um, Provide offers uh, provide payments, which abstracts all these complexities from the enterprise user. Thanks, Stefan. On that note, uh, we can talk now a little bit about Provide Payments and the Managed Transactions API. So Provide Payments has created an API that is currently live on mainnet that enables enterprises to broadcast the transaction fee to the public blockchain without holding any crypto. That means the baseline business processes that use our stack use provide payments to procure the software solution the way they would procure other enterprise software solutions, which is a huge win for the facilitation of enterprise adoption of public blockchain. 